All right. I think we're live. What's, What's up, guys? Well, well, I think I'm going to start stretching at the beginning of every stream. I need to stretch more. All right. What is up, everyone? Thank you guys so much for joining me again. Man, we have had... It's been a crazy, uh, crazy week all leading up to tomorrow. So if you've been following me on social media at all, you know that tomorrow, uh, my favorite player of all time, Mark McGuire, drops. Very, very exciting. Earlier tonight on Twitter, and I think Tony posted it on Facebook, I have a, like a, a video of producing the thing, and at the end of the video is the reveal of the card. So... I told you guys last night that I was going to post that video today. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play it live during this, this stream in a little bit. We're going to get into it a little bit. So first of all, I got to tell you guys, there was – drama is not really the right word, but there were some speed bumps today. And um, there's very few people that know about it. Tony knows about it. And Tony knows about everything. Uh, my dad knows about it. I'd sent my dad uh, the McGuire card when I thought it was finished um, last week. And a couple, a few other handful people that saw the preview of the card. Uh, I got a phone call last night after my live stream that Lauren and I did. We did a quick live stream. We broke some cards. It was awesome. And... Uh, at like 11.30 at night, I got a text from uh, Jeff, who's like the, the project lead. He's like running Project 2020. He's like, hey man, this is Jeff. I gotta, can I call you because there's an issue with your Mark McGuire? That's very stressful. When it's supposed to launch tomorrow. And ESPN, who I've been talking to, I talked to on three separate occasions, interviews, follow-up questions, follow-up questions, send pictures, send videos. That article comes out on Thursday. And so I was a little bit stressed last night. Um, uh, yeah, so Mistype said, Gary V tweeted out about Beck. Do you know anything about it? I don't know anything about that. So uh, the other night with the Gary V stream, Gary actually did tweet to me too. Uh, he just said, I'm proud of you or something like that. I retweeted it. So he's tweeted to me, he tweeted to Tyson today, which is great. Um, I think that Gary is involved in the back. He's like behind the curtain. I think that he's buying a lot of cards and knows that when he gets in, the print runs are going to explode. Uh, everyone's going to be diving in. And it's going to be a lot harder to make like a quick buck on the flip. I do think that like getting Gary involved would be personally cool to me because I... I love Gary and I have for a long time. Uh, I have a lot of art in his office. But like when I met Gary first and like we had our relationship, he had like 200,000 followers and now he has 2 million followers and it's a lot different. Like getting his attention is harder. Um, anyways, I do think that's cool. I think it's awesome that he tweeted to Tyson today is great. I mean Tyson's cards are blowing up on the secondary market as they should because they are – wildly like like so freaking good and then the print runs have been so far pretty low i think that Ty like i think everyone's print runs are going to be going up i think that tyson deserves print runs that are like way beyond what they were the first few cards i feel that way about myself too i think that my first few cards are going to be very very short prints uh considered let's see make this bigger for right now we're not going to open that gypsy queen quite yet we'll put that up there uh, yeah, yeah so, so I, I think it's great. great. Um, I mean, it's cool. Uh, outside of the Gary stuff, though, I mean, I, I want Gary to be involved in the project for sure. But, like, this McGuire card, the ESPN thing that's coming on Thursday, day after tomorrow, should be awesome. And we had some speed bumps starting last night. Tops needed me to make some changes to the card uh, very last minute. I, I, 
literally like less than 24 hours. I had like 12 hours to turn around a new version of the card uh, so that we could hit our print deadlines. Um, and I did that. So when like, when you guys see this video later tonight, um, you'll see like I zoomed in on a lot of stuff because I was trying not to capture the number on the jersey. That's what I was making an adjustment today. So I won't really speak any more about that. I think that like, I think that the output, the card is awesome. By far my favorite card that I've done. Uh, it's a little bit different than, um, than the other cards. And I was like taking that into account. It's like, I want my whole set to look nice, but also like, it doesn't bother me if Mark McGuire is a special looking card because to me it's a special card. So, I need to turn off my notifications here so I don't get any texts. Oh, man, it's been crazy. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, think about Gary Vee with, with 2 million followers and like all the stuff that he's doing. I think like, I'm so grateful for everything the Tops 2020 has brought me, uh, you know, to new, new eyeballs, new markets. My art is in way more homes, way more homes than it was, um, which is amazing. But like, like if you came to my studio and you saw me working, like my phone is just ding, Facebook, ding, Twitter, ding, everything, ding, ding, like 24 seven. And like, it's always been really important to me. Like I can't leave text messages on my phone unread, period. And I can't, I can't not respond to them. Like people text me, I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna go on to the next thing. Uh, I'm still trying to do that. Gregory's here. Is Greg Siff in the building? Dude, oh, okay, so actually, all right. So, Gregory Siff, you are awesome, dude. Uh, I mean, I've told this to you, I've told this to other people, but like, I literally have like admired and looked up to your work for like the entire time that I've been a professional artist. So it's been like five years, and I just love your stuff, and I love your attitude and your vibe, and like everything, the aesthetic is just beautiful. And it's so cool to me that this project has brought us together and now like we talk and text and, and whatnot. It's like, to me, like one of the biggest benefits of this project has been my relationship uh, with other artists and, and you're, you're the man. So I really appreciate that. And thank you, thank you for tuning in. Uh, also guys, I'm gonna get to go live on Gregory's stream. Uh, we're gonna do it on his Instagram. And I'm not sure, it's either gonna be tomorrow night or tomorrow evening or something, or uh, it could be the next night. But it'll be sometime while the Mark McGuire is live, we're gonna do a live stream and I will uh, promote that too. I'll put it on my social media. That'll, that'll be on uh, Instagram.com slash Gregory Siff. Um, nice, I love, seeing, uh, I love seeing Gregory get a bunch of love in the comments. Um, Alex Kent, what's up man? Thank you so much. Uh, Alex, I was working on uh, one of the things that I was doing today. So Tony came today. He lives in New Jersey. I live, I live in Manhattan, but my studio is in Long Island City in Queens. And so Tony came to the studio today uh, for a half day. And one of the things we focused on is gift boxes because I have this giant list in my iPhone like notes doc of gifts that I want to send to people. Alex, you're on that list uh, for some paint supplies because I love seeing you making art and uh, I think your stuff is dope. So I'm sending you some paint, because I have a bunch of it, uh, along with some other stuff. Um, Eric, what's up? Thank you so much. Yes, Sif did kill the Donnie card. That was, that's one of my favorite cards of the set so far. The Ripken also, so good. Yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, wow, 144 concurrence, that's not bad, guys. Wow, man, it's it's crazy. Like I was just looking actually today at when I started live streaming. It was three weeks ago, so 21 days, and I mean, it's it's very humbling, amazing that you guys are spending your your evenings with me. Uh, I know it's like it's late, especially for people on the East Coast. It's a lot, but to me, it's been a really fun thing to look forward to every day, and I like that like every day is different, and it gives me like something new to be excited about doing. And so whether it's like opening this box of Gypsy Queen, which we're gonna do, 
while we do some Q&A, we talk about Mark McGuire. We're going to show the Mark McGuire process video. Uh, it's been really good. So I really appreciate you guys. Uh, obvi I mean, you guys got to be like telling your friends or something because I haven't been promoting it a ton and like every day it seems like we're getting a little bit, a uh, little bit more and more people. So if you're new here, thank you so much. Uh, every video is different. Today I'm in my apartment. Uh, normally I'd say five days a week I'm in my art studio and a lot of those times I'm painting. Sometimes I do uh, sit downs like this. Sometimes we break some baseball cards. Um, sometimes I have other artists like Gregory Siff came on last week. Uh, F. Dot Eric came on uh, a couple days after that. I just talked to you. Also, this is actually another really cool thing. Uh, I talked to JK5 today, Joseph. Uh, his work is amazing. And uh, yeah, he's going to come on a stream. Uh, and I think we're, we're, we're talking. And he's also in New York, so like we could potentially collab. Very cool vibes. Um, I really want to get I want to get in touch with Sophia Chang. I'd like to get her on one of these live streams. Really, all all twenty artists, as many as them as I possibly could. I would love to like do different sessions with them. I think it's been really cool uh, bringing you guys new content, introducing me to new artists, and it's been pretty dope. All right, so so here's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna break this uh, this Gypsy Queen, and if if we go through this fast. There's a box of Heritage too. I'm not sure if we're going to break that or not. It kind of depends on how deep I get in the comments, <laughs> to be honest. Um, okay, so we're going to shrink this up. Uh, JK5, does he have Star Wars and all those cards? I don't know. Yeah, JK5's Clemente is killer. I, I mean, I... His Willie Mays was amazing. Like we talked and then he was talking about uh, his cards and I like sent him a picture because I have like, I, I have a lot of his cards. <laughs> so it was cool. Um, God, I need like a knife or something. Okay, I, gotta, I gotta get a knife from the kitchen. I'll be right back. Hello. All right. So uh, Tim asked if Mac and Gooden drop. So originally it was supposed to be uh, my M Mark McGuire and Ben Baller's uh, Doc Gooden. They switched that among all the craziness today with the numbers change. Uh, they told, and I even told them, I was like, oh, I'm really, well, whatever, I'll, I'll change the number for you guys, I'll make it happen, because I really want to drop with Ben Baller, I'm really excited about that, and they said, well, actually, we changed that, Ben's going to be on Friday, you're going to be dropping tomorrow with Andrew Thiel's Jeter, which, by the way, I love his work, he's another dude that I have to get in contact with, he's also in New York, we've, like, Instagram DM'd, like, a couple times, but, like, really lightweight, not talking about a lot of the stuff that I would like to, yet, so anyways, I'm excited because pairings matter a lot actually in the project. I think that um, pairing is very, can be very important and influential. And so having his Jeter, any Jeter is great and Thiel's work is amazing. And if I'm saying that wrong, Andrew, I'm sorry. Could be Thiel, but I think it's Thiel. Uh, so I'm very excited about that and also he is featured in the ESPN article as well as Ben Baller. And I think it's King Saladin too. So they're doing like kind of, I don't know if case studies is the right word, but they're doing like profiles kind of of different cards. So like Ben Baller, they're profiling the trout card, which crushed um, and was a beautiful card. Uh, I think with Thiel, they're doing the Jeter card, which is great because he's in New York Jeter's New York. It's dropping at the same time as on the top site. Like it's, it couldn't be better. Uh, couldn't be better time. So that's super exciting. Should be his Jeter tomorrow. And my Mark McGuire. I want, uh, I think that we're going to see some good numbers. I mean, like print runs across the board are getting stronger. 
But I want I, I would love to see my Mark McGuire at least I think it's on if it's under ten K, if I'm being honest, I would be disappointed. Uh, I would like to see it over ten K and I would like to see it a lot more than ten K, but if I get ten K, that means I doubled my previous uh, high, which was my Ricky Henderson, at about at about 4K, and I still haven't done Trout, Jeter, and Griffey, which are like kind of been so far the studs of the project. So that's kind of that's where I'm, that's where my head's at. Put that over there. Okay, so we're gonna open up. Let's see. So I kind of have to do it right here. Okay, we can do that. Christian, I know you hope it's under 10K, but that's selfish, man. We can have an over 10K print run, and you can still have a really strong secondary market. Trust me. Okay. There we go. Mookie straight off the bat. That's cool. Okay, apparently I have this whole pack upside down. Ooh, that's nice. That's great. That's gonna be awesome for some card art. I like that start. I like that a lot. <clears throat> One of the guys who podcast predicted you'd be 30K. I hope he's right. I would love to see a 30K print run and and i mean really like to me like the biggest part of that is like thinking about getting art into 30,000 homes at one time is bananas granted to make a 30k print run that means a lot of people are ordering 10 packs which is fine because a lot of those people are going to flip them on ebay which is fine and then they're going to make money and be excited which is great and then it still is going to get into 30,000 homes so just so you know, I'm taking into account all of those, all those parts. Cool. So I noticed like some of these, okay. Is like, okay, so like this one is blue in the top corner. Is that better? I can't tell if it matters. You guys tell me. Jeffrey asks, what time uh, is the ESPN interview tomorrow? So the ESPN interview actually already happened. We talked three separate times. Me and Alden Gonzalez. Uh, it will be a digital article. It's going to be just a print article or like print's not the right word. Type, copy, written, written, not video content. Written content, pictures. Uh, sometime it'll be on ESPN, I, I guess ESPN.com. On Thursday, I haven't gotten a time of when it's going to be released. Uh, as soon as I know that, I will definitely, I would definitely tell you guys. Okay, we got a skinny one. Oh, that's actually very cool, dude. We got we got a hot box here. In my opinion, I don't know. Seems cool. Tony told me that hot boxes are a thing. And I did get these boxes straight from Topps' warehouse because I told him I wanted to break cards. They're like, we could find you some boxes. And, uh, and I told him I was going to give away the cards anyways, which I am doing. But Tony's like, I think they sent you hot boxes. So we're getting some... I'm pretty happy with the pulls already. We're two packs in and we got an Acuna and a Bichette. And it's freaking nice. All right. Yeah, that bow is nice. All right, let's see here. I don't understand why some of the cards are upside down. Like, they're coming off the print line. There we go. Dude, I love I love this box so far. <laughs> Jordan's awesome. Tight. This is great. Oh, no. Alonzo, nice. That one's going in the good pile. Pretty stoked about this. I gotta tell Tops to give me some more off whatever palette they pulled these off of. 
<laughs> Nick. What's up, Nick? Hey, man, I hope you had a great birthday. I'm sorry that uh, your, your Nolan isn't there in time for your birthday, but knowing that it's on the way, hopefully, was, was a cool thing. All right, let's see here. Let's see, every time. Let's open one of these special the parallel packs. Would you do card art of a signed card, Alex asked. So I have some signed cards. I haven't splatter painted on them yet. And I'm undecided. Probably yes. I would paint on almost anything. And I think a signed card would be fun. So sometimes are these silver and sometimes they're green, I guess. Do we get like one of each? So yeah, that says six silver parallel. This one says six silver parallel too. Cause sometimes I open them up and they're green. Okay, let's see. God, I can never get it right. See, I like how like the bat comes up into the logo. You guys will see that in my uh, Maguire card tonight. He's coming out of the card a little bit, which I think is awesome. Same with there, like that bat. It's exactly what I got going in my Maguire, which is dope. So I think this is what we'll do. I think we'll, uh, oh, Walmart is green, interesting. Pack Dunes Looper. Trade you for that Kyle Lewis you just got. You got to hit up Tony. He's he's the manager of all these cards once they get pulled. I paint on them. So if you want it clean, you better hurry. I'm going to paint on them. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to pull that one out, Blake. Which one? Jerry says pull that one out. All right. Well, so is it? That's a variation. That was a short print. Well, do they say short print? How does it work? So what are we looking for? Check for bazooka backs, logo swap. Break out the white tank top. That was a SP. That's the logo swap. De uh, uh, which one? Jeez. <laughs> oh, God. I'll take a painting. Great. Okay, Deaver, is that what we're looking for? Deaver, is this one? Is the, the one that I was talking about with the bat? Logo. Okay, was that the right one? Oh, oh I see, because it wasn't Gypsy. It didn't have Gypsy Queen up there. It had this thing. All right, that's what you guys are talking about, hopefully. I can see that. All right, that's pulled aside now. Let's see, do I, did I miss any other short prints? I don't think so. Not logo swaps, at least. Deaver, not Deavers, Devers. Devers. Right? I assume it's Devers. I don't know. I can't hear you. I can just read what you're writing. Cool. Check the backs for bazooka variations. All right. Well, I don't know what, I don't know what the bazooka variation looks like. So let's just see. Okay. Like, oh no, that's just no nope, team logo out there.
Okay, let's see. I don't see any bazooka variations, right? What's up, guys? Hey, Ben. How you doing, man? Welcome to the party. We're opening us up, up some packs. We're going to show a Mark McGuire video. As soon, so as soon as we finish this Gypsy Queen box, we're going to debut the uh, Mark McGuire video. Then we're going to open up that Heritage box. And then I'm going to get some sleep because tomorrow and the next few days are about to be crazy. Uh, all right. Uh, Grant asked if Jackie's going out soon. Yes, I was signing the Jackie Blues today. I did signatures on the front, numbers on the back, and I'm doing UV ink with like a special little code on the back of each card, auto. So I did all those. Uh, tomorrow, the Jackie Reds will be signed. The Jackie Silvers have already been signed. The Jackie Gold's already been signed. So then the Jackies will be done. Also, tomorrow I'm doing the Dawn. Uh, I don't know which ones I'll do. I might just do the Red 99s. Basically, like my goal is to get uh, Jackies and Dawns out by Friday. Tony's coming back on Thursday. And I would like to ship uh, all the Jackies and Dawns Friday, so they're out the door. Hopefully by then I'll have the Rickies. I don't have the Rickies yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just we're trying to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, I honestly like. Um, it's exciting to sell autograph cards and sell 150 autographs of a player. I had no idea coming into this what that would be like on the logistical side of like actually physically signing numbering cleaning off the goo replacing the cases that are broken uh putting my hologram sticker on putting those in team sleeves putting those in bubble wrap sleeves putting those in custom painted boxes printing out uh certificates of authenticity customizing those for each card it's a lot um which is great uh and i'm happy to do the work it's just uh you know in terms of setting expectations for everyone it's like it takes takes time like with a whole player you know i have a player drop every two weeks and then if i'm selling autos and then i'm working like on on uh fulfilling logis logistics of those autos it takes me like half a week right so two or three days like full days to like actually get those cards from the envelopes the top sends them to me in and to like completely processed flipped around and ready with the correct label to the right person prepaid ready to drop off at ups like it's just that process is crazy we're processing hundreds of orders i couldn't be more more happy like i'm so happy to that my pro that my problem is like i can't send orders fast enough that's a great problem to have anyways that's that's where we're at uh all right yeah nobody has the rickies yet I sure hope I get a gold of one of my cards. That would be awesome. Okay, see now I know to look at the labels. What is it? Did I open, I open this and didn't sort it yet? Not sure. I don't remember if I... Sorry if I'm going too fast. I know you guys want me to go slow so that you guys never get to see that uh, Mark McGuire video. This card was just, these stacks was right here. I don't know why it was there or not there. Are you gonna buy the one-on-one -on -one cards on the market? So I uh, probably can't afford to buy them for cash, but I could. Uh, and I will do a bounty on all of my golds where the winner, uh, the winner, the person who gets the gold could trade the one of one gold for an original painting of their choice. So it could be something that I've already done. More than likely it'll be something new that they want to pick. So I'll paint their favorite athlete. Um, you know, so I'll do a very nice painting for a one of one. I don't know, if, unless it's. I can't imagine them being cheap on eBay, especially after Thursday and the article and stuff. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I'm, 
I'm not betting on uh, buying them. To answer your question. Every time. That's kind of cool. That one, so that one, like... Oh, there we go. I actually painted on one of these recently that I liked. So that one, like, this one looks more like art, like a painting to me. I don't know if it's just a filter process photo or what, but... Okay, we got one more uh, silver parallels. Here we go. Yeah, Matthew, a one-on-one for a painting and a meet and greet? Absolutely. I would actually, I think that would be a cool thing. Um, and shit, flights are so cheap right now. I could totally do that to say, okay, here's the, here's the new bounty. You get to pick a painting. And I buy a ticket, a plane ticket, round trip. You come through, spend a day in the studio, pick up your painting in person, do some photos. Uh, I think that's a good idea. And I could totally throw that in for the bounty. I, I think I'll do that on Mark McGuire. Trip for two to New York. Hotel room for a night. Other oh, hotels are not really open. Airbnb for a night. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, Ricky's a short print. Uh, great. Yeah. So I actually have, so I have one of those Rickies that I painted on. I wish I had a picture of it right now because it looks so sick. I'll put that over on the side. All right. Okay. So last, uh, little parallel pack. There we go. Harper. Bryce action. I like that. Not bad. We kind of hit our, our real hits right at the beginning. So just for those who missed it. Here are some of the highlights. I like that one. That was the first one we pulled. Okay, not bad. All right. So now, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna uh, we're gonna debut a little video for you guys. So, uh, I'm just gonna play it once. Tony didn't want me to play it at all for you guys. I said, "Too bad, we're doing it." He said, "No, let tops let tops break that video." No, bro. Tops isn't tops isn't our awesome fans that show up every night at 10:23. You guys are. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I gotta pull this up. Let's see here. So it's on, it's on QuickTime. Okay, are we at the beginning? Yes, okay. I'm trying to, oh, let's see if I say plus. Sorry, bear with me for a second. Window capture here. Uh, we'll go down to QuickTime, Q. Uh, QuickTime player, Mark McGuire, here we go. Okay. Have this, uh, let's see. Can I make sure you guys can see all of it? It's already, I already had to trim it down a bunch. L lawyer stuff. Okay, so here we go, guys. Um, I closed the folder, closed the window. Also, you guys didn't tell me. I just saw on OBS that I had my double double audio going. That must have been so annoying for you guys. Oh man, I'm so sorry. If that whole time I was talking, you guys were having to hear me twice. I feel bad. But, this is what it is, I guess. All right, here we go. We're going to play this, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, here we go.
<laughs> Alright, that was accident. That was accident. I played you guys the wrong one. I played you guys the teaser, which is actually freaking hilarious to me. Okay, so let's get the right one up here. Oh, quick time, come on now. <laughs> That's what you guys already saw. Oh, I'm such a dick. I didn't mean to do that at all. Okay, well, you guys are going to get to see the beginning twice. Okay, so now I'm going to have to okay make this window capture. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was an accident, but I think it's freaking hilarious. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get this going. <laughs> Let's get this going again. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right. Make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that, guys. I didn't mean to do that at all. <laughs> I do think it's hilarious, but okay. Window capture. Here we go. Let's get the right Mark McGuire video. Let's see here. Uh, quick time, Mark McGuire. Okay, let's see. So if I say okay here, all right, we're gonna have to resize this again. Oh man, what a tease. I'm kind of fitting though. Okay, so hold on, let me just make sure. Yep, okay, good. Good, this is the right one. Okay, now we're ready for real. Okay, well. Uh, Okay. Can you guys hear it? Got to turn the mic volume up. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, well, we're gonna try. It might be really loud, I don't know. But we're gonna see it. We're doing it live. You can hear, you can hear. Low, but you can hear. All right, I'll turn it up a little more, I guess. Let's turn this up, let's turn this up a little. All right, it's gonna get cranked. So you guys, I hope we're ready. Okay, we're doing this for real now, we're doing it live. Two mics were better. <laughs> Low volume, but good. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. Let's let's crank this. Okay. Here we go. Pretty sick. Pretty sick, guys. All right, let's get these YouTube comments going again. Well, that was fun. Oh man, uh, Jerry asked, did I put more effort since it's my favorite player? Yeah, I think so. I did it multiple times. Uh, I did multiple backgrounds. I played with the wood grain versus like leaving it kind of the raw painted into the white border. Um, I played with a lot. 
And uh, I'm super happy with how it came out, honestly. It's, it's really cool to me. Oh, thank you guys. Man, the comments are just really, really rolling in. Yeah. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. This is, this is, uh, this is overwhelmingly awesome. Yeah. Dan, I'm glad I didn't listen to Tony either. I might play it again. <laughs> yeah, it was super fun. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm very happy with how it came out. Uh, there was, there were some last minute, uh, struggles today, getting it right. But we got it right, got it approved by Tops, got all the right assets to ESPN for Thursday. We'll see. I think um, I think it's gonna do really good. Man, I feel like I watched it and I'm just like, all right, I'm ready for a nap. I think I might break this hair this heritage. We might have to break this tomorrow, or tomorrow actually. I think I'll be on Greg's live stream, so maybe not tomorrow. Soon we're going to break his heritage. We're going to leave this shrink wrapped for next time because we got some dope shit tonight. Sorry, language. Mainly for Noah. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and watching. You guys are awesome. You guys have made this, this journey uh, very fun. It's been really good. And it's crazy. Like Tomorrow's only card five. There's 20 of these. It's a lot. It's really great. It's really great. Oh, man. Well, let's see. I hope you guys are ready for 1 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, the next 48 hours, like, I'm going to be pushing this card very hard. Uh, I'm definitely going to do some giveaways. Uh, the giveaways will be um, some autographed versions of the card, artist autograph, signed and numbered versions. Uh maybe some like limited edition art prints uh, that'll be based on, on different things. Some will be like random retweet to win. Anyone can win. Some will be based on uh, whoever buys the most. Mark McGuire's gets something cool and sends me the receipt. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm really gonna, I'm gonna lean on you guys hard tomorrow. I want, I'd like to see this card do really well. I think it could be uh, one of the top selling cards in the set, at least so far fun to see the project grow oh man these uh these comments are just piling in yeah 15 more blakes to go it's crazy it's pretty awesome i'm very lucky i appreciate all you guys so much uh i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna call it a night uh i'm at my apartment as you can see not the studio lauren's in bed reading and i'm gonna go chill and just try and relax because i know that tomorrow and the next few days are going to be a whirlwind. I'm ready. I don't want to be rested up. Anyways, stay awesome, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all. I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. Stay awesome. <laughs>